For any developer, testing your code is incredibly important in catching unexpected errors that may occur at runtime. With the introduction of flow decorators in Prefect 2.0, it's easier than ever to run your tests in a variety of ways. And unlike 1.0, you won't need to use a context manager or register any subflows just to run your tests. Let's get started by looking at an example. Here we have a Prefect 1.0 flow. We need to create our flow via this context manager. We need to import the parameter task so that we can specify some user inputs. And we also need to call dot run as our flow is not directly callable. Neither is our task. As you can see, we've got a lot of, of pieces here that make it pretty clear that we are using prefect. We're a little bit more focused on ensuring our prefect syntax is correct and doesn't produce silent errors versus making sure our test suite is covering all edge cases, which is what we should be focusing on. So let's upgrade to 2.0. Okay, so we're ready to upgrade our flow. First, we can remove the context manager here. First, we can actually change this to an F and this is now outdated. So actually, we don't need to worry about this at all. I'm going to comment it out and we're just going to do at flow like so. We could optionally give it a name if we wanted. So we had our flow name right here, which was my flow. So easy enough. We can actually specify that parameter directly the way we would any other Python function. So we don't need that extra line that specifies the user input. We can just call our task that we created above here and pass in that number right there. Yeah. So that's all we have to do in order to adjust our flow here. We also don't need to call dot run as our flow is directly callable. So we can get rid of that like so. And then right here, instead of calling dot run, we'll call dot fn on our test so that we can call it. So as you can see, this is a lot more difficult to even tell that we're using prefect. I mean, We've pretty much just written our, our test the way we would and added a couple of decorators. So let's do a run through. Awesome. So our tests asserted that this task is running correctly. Another special thing about this is we actually don't need to even have a flow here. We could comment this out, you know, any reference to a flow really, and we can still run this and test just like a single task if we want to. And that's the beauty of .fn. Let's leave that back and let's try out some subflows. As you can see, all I did was just add a few lines of code here. So I added a, a task called subflow task, and that's just gonna add one to the given number. And then I also created a flow. This is subflow that's going to run our subflow task. and in order to make this a subflow, obviously it needs to be called within another flow. So in that flow that I have here, I am actually going to run subflow right here. So now our flow is not only going to run a task, but it's also going to run a flow that we gave it. Subflow is going to run a subflow task. We should be good to go since we've just added the flow within the flow that we already have. So let's run that. Okay, so that looks great. So that's a bit more about subflows. And then if we want, we can actually take a look at our flow here. This is our specific flow run. We can see a bit about this task, but additionally, maybe we would want to go to our flow, look at our subflow runs. Look at that. We can see that there. That's awesome.